Before you go to sleep, you need to pray. Prayer at the end of the day changes your perspective and your viewpoint. And what I mean by this is that we can go all day praying just to receive. May I receive this new opportunity today? May I receive this breakthrough? May I receive your protection today? Or a chance to demonstrate how well I can do this or that at my job? We can often go through the day simply asking to receive. But at the end of the day, how many of us go down on our knees and earnestly say thank you? Thank you Lord that you not only woke me up this morning, but you protected me, you sustained me and you kept me alive. How many of us take the time out to say thank you Lord Jesus? I have gone through the day unharmed, I am safe. I am fed and my family is well. I urge you to count your blessings. We all have many things to be thankful for, many reasons that should push us, convict us to get down on our knees and say thank you Lord. Now there is a second part to this. As we go to sleep, we are effectively going into the unknown. Sleep is necessary for the body and so a lot of biological changes take place as you fall asleep. Your breathing slows down, your heart rate slows, your muscles relax. All of these are physical changes. But in the spiritual realm, nothing stops simply because you've gone to sleep. That's why some people are attacked by nightmares or experience sleep paralysis. All of these are spiritual attacks. So as believers who are aware that we have an enemy, an enemy who does not play fair, an enemy who takes anything and everything to his advantage, we need to pray before we sleep so that we not only thank God for his faithfulness, but also that we may be covered by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, so that we may be kept and wrapped up in his loving arms, so that we may experience peace, so that his presence might be in and around our homes. We should be praying as individuals, as couples, as families before we sleep because quite simply put, we all need Jesus. We need God and we can't guard ourselves while we sleep. Only he can. And so with this understanding, let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, the risen Son of God. May you be praised, Lord. I praise you for your faithfulness, for keeping me throughout the entire day. I praise you for strengthening me in all that I did today, Father. All the glory belongs to you. I praise you because in Isaiah 45, verse 5, your word says, I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God besides me. I will gird you, though you have not known me. There is no other but you, Lord Jesus. There is no other who is like you, Father. None who is even close to you or can even be compared to you. Father, I pray for every man, woman, boy or girl who is in agreement with me right now. I speak upon their life your word in Proverbs chapter 3 verse 24, which says, when you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, 
your sleep will be sweet. I pray for each person listening, and I say to you in the name of Jesus Christ and according to God's word, when you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. When you lie down, the presence of the Lord shall be wrapped around you, around your family. When you lie down, God's angels will guard your home. The Holy Spirit will minister to you, to your soul, to your spirit and to your heart. You shall dream dreams that are from the Lord. I pray that you will experience Acts chapter 2 verse 17, where the Bible says, in the last days God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. I thank you Lord for your word. And let this be true for us, King Jesus. Pour your spirit out on us, on our homes, on our families. May we be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from this moment. May your word be fulfilled, Lord, and may our hearts be open to receive the Holy Spirit. Thank you for your goodness, King Jesus because your word in Romans 8 verse 28 says, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. As we sleep tonight, I declare that all things are working for our good because we love God. All things are working for our good as children of the Most High God. Lord, may you protect us. May you be our defender. Your word in Romans 8 verse 31 says, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Be glorified, Lord because you are all powerful, all knowing. If you are on our side, the devil is no match for us. Every ruler of wickedness is destroyed. Every demon is cast out and hell is defeated because the almighty God, the one true King, the Alpha and the Omega, Jesus Christ is with us. And so I declare, Romans 8 verse 37, Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Thank you for your love. Your love is the reason that I am more than a conqueror. It's the reason why I can overcome. Your love is so strong that Romans chapter 8 verse 38 says, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I bless your name Jehovah. I am grateful of all that you have done, all that you are doing, and all that you continue to do. The Bible says in Isaiah 26, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord the Lord himself is the rock eternal. May this be true upon our lives today. I thank you for listening to this prayer. I thank you for being a wonderful God. 
thank you for your love and mercy and I thank you for your peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray Amen